Welcome everyone and and um, start by any any questions straight away from anyone. Jason, you must be disappointed. Very. Um, a lot of sleepless nights, obviously. Um, yeah, you don't enjoy something, you know, when something like this happens, and you know, especially coming to a new club, you, you know, ex expect things to go accordingly. And obviously, yeah, I've hit a bit of a, a speed ump at the moment, but. Um, Look full of confidence in, in coming back and you know giving back to this club. When there was the big signing announcement, you were on crutches. Do you think it was a risk signing you? Not at all. No, no. Um, I knew exactly what I had done. The club was well aware of that as well. I had all the confidence, as did the club, in, in me coming back. Um, you know, like I said in the past, rehab went really, really well. I was 24 hours away from playing my first match, and unfortunately, I, I felt you know, a, a different kind of pain and, um, you know, with a lot of consultation, it's not something we've rushed into. Um, we've decided as a last resort to, to get this surgery done, so um, unfortunately it's come, come to this, but um, look, I'm, I'm full of confidence, as is the club, and they're behind me, that, you know, rehab will, do, will, will, will be really good, you know, I'm 100% confident in coming back to a very high level, and, you know, my aim is to play for Newcastle, you know, keep playing for the Socceroos and you know, just giving back to the club because they do believe in me and I believe I've got a lot to give back to this club as well. Can you talk us through the nature of your original injury? What, what, what happened first of all last year, do you mean? What happened? Yeah. Well, basically they've gone in and then cleaned out the cartilage and yeah. you know, that's all good. Um, like I said, that's, that's worked really well. Um, the surgeons are really happy with that. I was happy with their outcome, and um, um, you know, that's there's probably nothing more to say about that. You know, I was back in training, and yeah. everything so you, went we were really back well. You look fit. We saw images of you at the training paddock. You're looking really good. Exactly. What happened? Yeah, look, uh, I started to feel some pain. Um, different part of your knee from that original injury. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So it, it's something different. It's it's not the same injury. It's not a reoccurrence of the old one. Um, it's something new. It's an alignment issue with my knee. Uh, like I said before, um, you know, we, we've tried everything. We've tried all other options um, to get me back on the paddock. It's not something we've rushed into. It's been a few weeks now since it first occurred. Um, but uh, unfortunately, um, those things haven't worked. With consultation from the, from the surgeons, from the club, we've all decided that um, surgery is the way to go. So, uh, yeah, this is where we're at at the moment. Have, have, those, have they given you a reason why, why this happened? Is it because you were too eager coming back to training or worked too hard? Or no, not at all. I, I think, you know, when I look at my rehab, um, I can tick every box and say I, I've done that properly. Um, it's taken me eight months to get to where I am at the moment. Um, I was in top shape. I felt really, really good. Uh, nothing was holding me back. And then, you know, unfortunately, something like this has happened. So, um, you know, like I said, I'll get on with it. We've decided to get surgery done next week so I can get back on the park as soon as possible. And, you know, look, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to doing a really good rehab and getting back on the park. Jason, you said it's an alignment issue. What is it you're actually going to get done surgically next week? I'm going to align my, my legs so it uh, aligns right with the knee and, and puts a good load through the knee. Is that, is that like a straightening of some sort? Or it is a straightening, yes. And, and you're fully confident you'll come back from this 100%? 100% confident. The club's 100% confident as well. We've got, I believe, <coughs> across the A-League, talking to every other club, we have got an incredible medical staff here, sports science group, so we're very, very comfortable and confident that Jason will come back bigger and better. But were you not confident of the previous surgery that, that you would be able to recover? Like I said, it's got nothing to do with previous surgery. So Jason, it's been basically the, the, the uh, assessments and the examinations of the last couple of weeks that have uncovered this, this new issue then? Exactly, exactly. And yeah. that's something you weren't aware of up until then? No, not at all. Jason, you've been a professional player for 15 years or something like that. How many times has that knee actually had surgery on it? It does the first time. Okay. Yeah. How about the other knee? Oh, once before, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Robbie, are we uh, looking to sign a new player or there's no possibility for the season ahead? No, we've, um, we've been flying in pre-season, 10 games. Um, it's a situation where we've looked into the insurance situation and it's this, because it's the same knee where we haven't got insurance money coming in and 
we're confident in the squad we've got. We've, um, like I said, 10 games undefeated. Um, and I want to reiterate, Jason's been a major part of that. You know, he's given unbelievable advice to these younger players coming through with Jacob Pepper that was outstanding in the last game. So off the field as well, Jason's been incredible for the club and he'll continue to do that in the future. So um, at the moment we're comfortable and we're not going to look at signing any other players. Um, under A-League rules, are you allowed to sign an existing or replace your marquee player? Yes, yeah. we can. Jason, did you actually go down the path of the blood injections at all or did you realise it just wasn't that an issue that that was going to help you with? Yeah, like I said before, we, we um, went through all the options. Um, we've tried everything and this was last resort. Obviously, I like to be on the on the pitch. I mean, you know, playing football is what I do best and, you know, having surgery is something that you is probably last on your list. So, um, yeah, we did go through all the other options and unfortunately this has been the outcome. When do you think you'll be back running again? Just be guided by the surgeons and by you? Exactly, they're the experts. Um, you know, I'll be guided by them and obviously our medical team here at the club. And it's frustrating as being on the sidelines for the season. What, what do you see your role this season now for the team? Just a supportive role as best you can? Yeah, exactly like what Robbie's just said. Um, you know, I think I can contribute off the field. Um, you know, hopefully help the younger players, more experienced players, and you know, I'm always there for the players to talk to. Um, obviously, you get a, a better view from the stands, and um, like I said, it's not where I want to be, but you you get a better view of the of the game from the stands, and you c you can help the other players. I mean, you know, I, I've played all over the world. Uh, I've played at the highest level, international level. I played in two World Cups. So, you know, if, if anyone's got anything to offer to to the younger players, it's probably me. And I want to <coughs> reiterate as well that I know there's a lot of speculation around about different marquees that's come in the past and flown in and flown out and haven't give anything to Newcastle, but Jason's bought a house here and he's very, very passionate about Newcastle. We've had long conversations about it and, and, and we're, we're looking at these younger players. We're looking at making sure that when Jason's, you know, this period that he's injured that he will give so much you know, off the field to these to these young players in the squad, and you know, long term, he wants to do the right thing for Newcastle. Do you think, though, it, it's fair that some fans may question uh, Jason signing, and because I mean, we've had other problems with other marquee players, and it's a lot of money if people aren't going to be on the field. Oh, that's definitely a question that's going to come up, but we know, um, you know, w we've got faith in Jason. We've done the right thing by. You know, having him at this club, he's the best player in the last couple of years in the A League. He's been outstanding, and he still has aspirations to play in the Socceroos. So, you know, we have got something special in Jason. So, we're all going to support him and get back as soon as possible. Okay, uh, no one should doubt, you know, my commitment. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a very uh, passionate person. Uh, I love playing football, and um, you know, I give up 100% all the time. I have pride in my performance. So, there's no way that anything is going to stop me from coming back and being at the level I was at before. Robbie, due diligence is an issue that's come up through all of this, but it sounds like the, the exhaustive due diligence process you, you guys have gone through as a club is what's helped uncover this new issue with Jason. Yes, and that's where, you know, like I mentioned before, our we've got that much faith in our, our medical staff and our sports science that, you know, we've looked at every angle possible and sat down with Jason on many, many occasions in the last couple of weeks and, and, and talked through what's going to happen with this procedure and we as a club and Jason himself, you know, think this is the best way to go forward and get him back on the park as quick as possible. Have you got any research that uh, the success rate? Of yes, we've done that and there is quite a bit of research that, you know, some very influential um, sports people have come back from this, from this operation. So we're happy with that. I don't want to. It's, I, I don't want to give certain names because it's confidential. But you know, I've been honest the whole way through, and we've done our research with it, and and these players have come back, so we're confident. Robbie, do you think um, when the club signed Jason, if they'd known that this was going to unfold this way, they still would have signed him? Oh, in hindsight, you always say with with this season coming up how it is, but we've got faith. Like I keep saying, we've got faith in Jason. He's got another two years left of his contract, and we've got. You know, we've got a quality player in Jason Kalina um, and, and an asset to the A-League itself. So we are very happy to have Jason at the club. Will you be seeking full payment of the contract for this year? That's, that's his contract. That's obvious that he's... There's, there's no issue with full payment. That's, 
part of his contract. If he's injured or playing, that's that's what happens. What's uh, Nathan Tinkler's view on it? I haven't spoke directly to Nathan, but um, he's upset. What I've heard, he's upset for for Jason himself and and the club and the fans at the moment. But um, he realises as well that injuries happen. So, Jason, the, the scepticism, I guess, from from some members of the public must be very frustrating for you. I can't imagine there'd be anyone more frustrated than you through all this. Exactly. I mean, look, you, you can't. Uh, first of all, I understand. Uh, I understand that people are frustrated and. Like I said, I'm extremely devastated um, that I won't be able to take any part this season. But at the same time, um, you know, uh, I know there'll be some negativity. Um, I can't listen to that. I just got to get on with my rehab and you know get back on the park as soon as possible. Does it make it even harder to deal with Jason the fact that your, your dad's the coach at your club and the public perception and that sort of stuff? Not at all. No, we're professionals. Um, we've always been that way. Um, he treats me like any other player and. That's the way I like to get treated, so um, no, no problems at all. You said you got the surgery next week. Have you got any kind of timeline on what happens after? Are you, are you laid up in bed for a, a couple of days, or are you back out doing rehab within a couple of days of that? That's totally up to the surgeon to decide, um, obviously, you know, which way it goes. Um, you know, uh, he, he decides ultimately what's best for me leading up uh, in the next few weeks, so um, I'll leave it to them. But you're planning for surgery next week? That's right. Yeah. Will that be here or in Sydney? In Sydney. And there's still a slim chance you can get back this season, do you think? Or? Well, that's totally, like I said, totally up to the surgeons, up to the medical staff. All depends on my rehab. I know I'll give 100% in my rehab. You know, um, you know, there's always that time frame which you aim for. And, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it all goes.